tree behind me is bald cypress. It's in the family Cupressaceae in the genus Taxodium, and the specific epithet is Disticum. It's a deciduous conifer. That means that it actually loses all of its foliage uh, at certain times of year. Here in the Midwest, it loses all of its foliage in the fall through the winter, and then it puts on new foliage or new needles in the spring. Let's take a look at some of its features. Trunks of bald cypress can be really fluted, particularly at the base where you see them going in and out and having a lot of texture. Typically a single trunk as you'd move all the way up with branches coming fairly straight out. If you were to see these in the swamps or Everglades in Florida, you know, their crown is much narrower. Here where they're more open grown, they can be fairly broad. The bark, really nice coloring of browns and reds as it goes through and is uh, fairly thin plates and very fibrous. If we look inside, you can see little fibers or, as it pulls apart. So the bark has a very nice color and really interesting texture to the entire tree. This is the twig of bald cypress. You can see it has a real delicate sort of lacy or feathery look to it. This is the structure, the entire foliage structure, that will turn brown and fall off. Even though there are individual little needles attached, this is almost like a pinnately compound with needles instead of uh, leaves the way we've seen in other species. So this entire structure will turn brown and fall off. Here's the cone of bald cypress. They hang down as little orbs. They start out green. And you can see this one just starting to break apart where the uh, sections of the cone come together. And they'll turn brown. It's not uncommon to see these still hanging or parts of them still hanging throughout the winter. This gives you a sense of size of the cones and then how they would break apart. And inside are where the seeds are. Here's bald cypress from a little distance away. You get a sense of its full size and general texture in the landscape. Fairly straight single trunk. The foliage would all turn a rust color. Sometimes you'll get a yellow color. Um, and then the foliage falls off. One last feature to note about the bald cypress are the presence of knees, which are in the center of the image here. The knees grow whenever a bald cypress is in wet or soggy soils.